Version 2.0 of Pool Studio, Vistera, and VIP Suite creates a great new way to design and present projects to your clients. A clean new interface, new 3D technology, and improved performance will make designing quicker, easier, and provide an even better looking end product. With these changes come some new ways of working with the programs. You'll greatly improve your productivity by designing faster and boost your creativity with new 3D features and quality. This video will guide you through the changes of going from version 1.950 to version 2.0. Version 2.0 boasts an incredible leap forward in new 3D technology and overall performance. Version 2.0 can run faster and display better 3D graphics on the same computer you use right now to run version 1.950. You can even open the program, load a design, and begin working in less time than it takes to open an empty file in version 1.950. Running version 2.0 and above does require Windows 7 or Windows 8. Give us a call at 800-778-8996 or email support at StructureStudios.com if you'd like our help in picking out the right system to run version 2.0. When we first open version 2.0, you'll be given the option to import your files created in version 1.950. You can import right away or choose to import at another time. Right away, we'll see changes on the main screen. We have the buttons for New Project to create a design from scratch, and Open Project, where you can select your design to work on. Below that are your last four designs. A picture preview of those four designs is also shown so you can quickly see which projects appear. On each preview is a video button. Clicking on this button launches the file directly into the presentation mode. In the top right we have your designer profile name, link to the support pages, the latest post from our blog, and a link to view the blog page. In the middle, we can see important messages that Structure Studios has shared. Below that, we have the Support tab with links to training, member community, and member gallery. We can also find our phone number and email address. In the top left, we have smaller versions of the Open Project and New Project button and the new application button, which gives us access to the software settings and functions. As soon as we load a new project, we'll see the project information screen, where we can fill out our client's information and add a company logo. Files are now saved to the projects folder instead of the save folder, which will also contain your screenshots and videos as well. If opening a file from outside of the projects folder, you'll be asked to convert it. Choosing Yes will put a copy of the file in Projects. Once we have a project open and fill out the project information, we'll see the new drawing space. First, we'll tour the top bar. By having many features and settings available at the top of the screen, we can quickly access frequently used features. We also save a large amount of screen space for your project and drawing tools by having controls at the top of the screen. First, the Application button gives us access to functions previously found under File, Edit, View, and Help menus. To the right of that, we have buttons for New Project, Open Design, Save, and Help. We can access the Project Information screen at any time by clicking on the clipboard icon. We can view the screenshots for the current file on the Screenshots tab. A new 2D, 3D button is found along with the standard zoom and pan controls, as well as the grid settings in 2D and the reset and deselect button in 3D. The top bar also now holds most of the drawing settings. Snaps and constraints, hide and unhide, and object properties are now at the top of the screen for quick access saving you from having to scroll through the menu at the bottom of the panel. Clicking the thumbtack button will keep the panels open, so you can continue to work and quickly access these menus. The last set of buttons are the Undo and Redo buttons, Copy, Cut and Paste, and the Delete button. 
Remember, you can always use keyboard shortcuts for these features as well. On the right side of the screen is the updated panel menu. Much of what we'll see is the same, so we'll focus on what's new and different. At the top of the screen, we have five new icons to click on. Design, Materials, Landscaping, Presentation, and Construction. The stage name bar at the top opens up so we can quickly switch between any stage, and each stage now has a unique stage number. Stage 1, Project Information, is where we can find options to import an AutoCAD file, load a background image, insert a 3D image, and change our 3D background, all of which have been updated for 2.0. Once a background image like a plot plan is loaded, the new background tab has the controls to adjust the image. Controls previously found under Stage Options can now be found under the Stage tab. For example, we can see the House stage has all of our house and roof controls. Each stage has its own unique Stage tab. Controls previously found under Guides as well as Parameters are now found in other new tabs. The Guides tab now contains drawing guides like Measure, Text, Rectangle, and Circle. The Align tab has the controls previously found under the Alignment button that was under Parameters. The Object tab has the rest of the controls previously found under Parameters. Here we can Group and Ungroup, Mirror Shapes, Reset Items, Create a New Variation of Plants and Trees, pause or play animated items, change landscaping items to and from symbols, adjust auto elevation, select matching items, and change the settings for select objects from any stage. The font tab is where we can adjust the font size, color, and appearance of text and numbers for our shapes and guides. Use the arrow to the right of any tab to expand or collapse the panel menu section. New to the house stage is the interior wall feature. Houses can now be hollow in order to show the interiors of structures. Windows and doors will cut out holes to see outside with the interior wall feature turned on. We can also insert a custom window. Under the Insert Window section, click on the rectangle or arched button and place it on the house in 2D or 3D. We can adjust our window settings, including height and width and rotation. We can choose to show or turn off the window glass, window casing, and window pane. We can choose how many rows and columns of window panes appear as well. Finally, we can turn on the window covering and choose between curtains, blinds, shutters, and tinted glass. The pools and spa stage is where we can now insert spillovers and negative edges directly onto our shapes. Select the shape with the Move tool, then click Insert Spillover. Place it where you want it with the mouse and left click. Under the Objects tab, we can choose between spillovers and various negative edges, adjust the angle of negative edges, the water pressure, the length of the feature, and turn water flow off and on. The pool depth is now controlled in the pool stage as well, so it no longer is in its own unique stage. Click on the pool with the Move tool and click on Edit Pool Depth to adjust the shape's appearance. Click on Edit Pool Depth again or the red X to close the depth profile. It is also now possible to insert more than one pool in the pool stage. Lastly, the visual feature stage has been removed. You can add spillovers and negative edges as described earlier in the pools and spas, and the remaining visual features can be found in the library under Items and then Visual Features. The library is now located on the left side of the screen. Click on the Library button to expand or close the library at any time. From top to bottom, we have the Search Bar, the Design tab, House Decor, Items, Landscaping, Vendor Partners, Currently Used Items, Favorite Items, 
and new items that get added with each new update. Below the tabs are the Save, Edit, and Delete buttons for creating or altering your custom templates. To view items in the library, first click on a tab such as Items. Checking the box for a category will show all sections in that category in the right panel called the Thumbnail View. Clicking on a category name will show a list of every subcategory below it. Clicking on the subcategory shows the names of the individual items in that subcategory. You can check and uncheck individual subcategories as well. Click on the Clear button at the top to clear the library selections. To insert an item, simply double click on it or press the Insert 1 or Insert button at the bottom of the thumbnail view. With anything selected in your project, pressing the Replace button swaps that item with whatever is selected in the library. To save an item to the Favorites tab, click on the star in the top right of the thumbnail. Remove it from Favorites by clicking it again. Sliding the thumbnail size slider bar will resize the preview pictures of the library items. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch the basic training series of videos for detailed instructions on each stage of the software. Please contact us with any questions by calling 800-778-8996, emailing support at structurestudios.com or visiting us online at support.structurestudios.com.